Today I'm back with my 1967 Austin Moak. I started restoring this Moak in 2011. Here are some pictures of what it looked like when I found it. It needed a lot of work and the story I was told is that the person I got it from found it in a ditch where it had been wrecked in both the front and the rear. The Moak does run and drive and you've seen it in previous videos from me but today it's time to take a couple more steps to completing the restoration. If you look at the bonnet, this is metal and it meets a metal surface right here. So the first thing I'm going to install is a bonnet braid which weaves in and out of these holes to protect the two, these two pieces of metal from hitting each other and rubbing against each other. I finally tracked down the correct braiding material and I'm going to leave the first metal gap right here in the center. So I'm going to find the middle and stick that right there. Now that I have it started, I can just weave in and out through the holes. Now the bonnet should be able to shut and I don't have to worry about the two pieces unnecessarily rubbing against each other. The next thing I'm going to do is replace these pedestrian tires with a set of correct Dunlop Weathermasters. These are the SP44s. In fact, this Moke had at least one Weathermaster on it when I got it. The wheels that are on the Moke right now are silver, and I think that they should be body color. They should match this white of the body. So I have another set of wheels that I have painted that color, and that's what I'm going to be mounting these tires to. If you own a classic Mini, you want to be careful who you take your original wheels to, because these need to be mounted in a very specific way, and if it's not done right, you could just pretzel this wheel very easily with a tire machine like this. The first thing that I want to do is install the valve stem. And the reason I wanted to mount this before I even put it in the tire machine is because I'm going to put it in the tire machine upside down. And that's because the drop center for the tire is up here near the back of the wheel, not on the front of the wheel. And if you try to mount it the other way around, you're probably just going to crush this wheel. I did have to help it there a little bit because the plastic clamps that I have clamping this don't give a lot of turning force. And there we go. Now I can just air it up. I'll get the other three done and then we'll get them on the moke. The Moke looks great and switching to these Weathermasters I think was the best call. And even though the wheels and tires look good the way they are, it's not correct until we put the hubcaps on. And I'm not going to put these bent and damaged original aluminum hubcaps on. I got a brand new set of stainless. So these are going to be a lot easier to keep polished and keep looking new. And I'll put the original aluminum set back in a box in case I ever need them.
And that's going to be it for today. That's another few steps closer to completing the restoration on my 1967 Austin Moke. And if you want to see more classic mini or even Moke content, comment below and click subscribe.